So recently, several government agencies like the Department of Energy have weighed in and said they think it's somewhat likely that the COVID virus was leaked from a lab in China. Either they don't say intentionally, accidentally. Leak doesn't imply intent. There's lots of government agencies, and some still don't think that's the case, and some do think it's the case to varying degrees. But the point is that this is in stark contrast to two years ago when. Even suggesting the possibility of it leaking from the the lab in Wuhan got you banned from Twitter, got you censored. People would label you a conspiracy theorist. But now, lots of government agencies are saying, "Yeah, this is a real possibility, maybe even a probability." Do you remember exactly like what tech companies, like what the rules were at each tech company? No, I don't. Unfortunately, I, I'm I'm sure I'm pretty certain that Twitter was very draconian about this. You could、huh. be you could be banned for saying you know it came from here or saying something like the China virus, right?、Mm-hmm. And in response to a lot of these government agencies sort of shifting their position, people like Jimmy Kimmel and other comedian late night, you know, the leftists that you see on TV, they feel a little bit defensive about this this stuff.、Uh, Jimmy Kimmel. You know, he had a monologue where he's making fun of the Department of Energy. He's like, "Why does the Department of Energy have anything to say about it?" Whatever. Like, of course, what I've noticed is a certain attempt to gaslight the public. So, for specifically, for instance, Jimmy Kimmel's defense was, "Hey, we didn't know back then where it came from. We didn't say we knew, and we still don't technically know. All we were saying was Trump saying China virus ca- was causing a."、Uh, uh, Racism against Asians in America, and that's what we were against. That's that's what they're trying to say. And what I'm here to say is, they're gaslighting you. That's BS. They, if you if you even suggested that it came from a lab in in China,、um, they didn't just call you. You know, oh, what you're saying is problematic. It ca- could cause racism against Asian people. Uh, no, 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 no. They said you're a conspiracy theorist. They said you're an idiot. CNN just said it came from a wet market. Therefore, whatever you're peddling is a conspiracy theory. And all, also, by the way, it's going to cause massive violence against、uh, Asian people in America, which、uh, did happen. Asians did experience a, a spike in、uh, crime against them, but it wasn't from the people that they probably were hoping it would come from, meaning MAGA hat Republicans. It was mainly from black people in blue cities who. I can almost assure you didn't vote for Trump. So they are gaslighting you now because they have an egg on their face. Wait, wait, wait! But the the worst part is not well, was not any of that stuff. The worst part is the tech censorship, in my opinion, at least. Yes, and the tech censorship is also part of that. They were totally on board with, oh yeah, this is a conspiracy. Therefore, either best case scenario, they would you know. Add an addendum to your comments or whatever, and say no, this person's wrong. Or worst case scenario, they would ban you. Yeah, there was a penalty for just suggesting the possibility that yes, it came from this lab. Now, government agencies in the United States admit that possibility is either a a probability or a moderate possibility. Okay, well, certainly we can conclude that they were wrong then. For pu- punishing people for talking about something that is possible, and you can say, "Well, that's hindsight, though." At the time, they didn't think it was possible. Well, so they were wrong. So they were dead wrong. So isn't this a cautionary tale about, "Hey, you shouldn't just punish people because you know the the company line says they, no, it definitely didn't come from、uh, a lab in China." They're trying to pretend that it was only about oh protecting Asian people. That's BS. Were there some MAGA hat wearing people who you know said some anti Asian stuff because Trump said that you know the virus came from China and all that. I mean, it's a big country, sure, probably somewhere, yes. But yeah, well, yeah. I mean, my my, I have people in my family that experience. Yes, that absolutely.、Person. I have no doubt that there are incidences. Sure, absolutely. However, that is not a that is not justification to punishing people for discussing things that are within the realm of possibility. Okay. That should still be protected. Might there be second and third order consequences that are negative for some people? Yes, but nobody said that free speech and the principles of free speech are f- free. You know,、uh, nobody said that. There are costs to it, but we've we've long ago. I thought we long ago decided that these costs are worth it. What do you make of like? What do you th- make of their motivations for 
the censoring. Do you really buy that it's about protecting Asians? <laughs> no, absolutely not. They don't care about protecting Asians. Here's how I know why. Because Asians are still under assault today. But the thing is, it's kept hush hush because the people assaulting them are inconvenient, right? We all, we, we both, we're both Asian. So we know that the vast majority of people attacking Asians are black people. And I'm not saying it's, it's racially motivated or anything like that. But if black people attack Asians in blue cities, that's a very inconvenient truth. And there's very little effort from the government or anything to protect, you know, oh, we're going to protect Asians. No, 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 no. They don't care because that's inconvenient to the narrative. But here, it was convenient to the narrative of, let's not say it's from a lab, a lab leak. That's the government line. That's the company line. Anybody who suggests otherwise is um, anti-Asian. Yeah, that's the thing. So let's pin that on them. So it was convenient for that narrative to enforce that narrative. That's so, why they did it. So really, they just don't want you to think that it came from a lab because our government could have been involved. Is that what you think? Yes. And our government was involved because we partially funded that lab. Uh, yeah, we were helping to fund the research at that lab that it accidentally leaked out of. And we didn't really like that either. You know, at first it was, you know, the conspiracy theory. Well, when I say conspiracy, I mean, you know, people thought, oh, maybe it's China trying to pull some stuff. Like, oh, it turns out it's uh, both the U.S. and China's fuck up. And neither really wanted to own that, right? Yeah. So here we are. But now it, you can't really ignore it. You can't deny it. So government agencies are just correcting their position, I guess. I don't, I don't know. To not look like idiots and just say, yeah, I guess that was possible. Don't let the, don't let the, the zealots like Jimmy Kimmel, though, gaslight you into thinking, oh, I never said it was impossible that it came from a lab. Uh, I just I just wanted to protect the Asians in my country. No, fuck you. You had no interest in protect. You just wanted to uh, tell the company line and call the people who suggested a lab leak, uh, call them all racist, even though a lot of the people suggesting it were Asian. So I don't know what you're talking about, white guy. Okay, so what the fuck ever? I know that in modern day, we have very short memories. It's hard to remember where we were at three years ago and what the arguments were and what they were calling you. But don't let them gaslight you into thinking that, oh, no, no, they, they were just talking. They were just concerned about anti-Asian violence. 